All right, so we got a new Dawn Halo studio. So I heard this is like some Unreal 5 stuff for Halo. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that sounds very interesting. Let's get to the video, let's go, man. Now, what are they talking about? Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. Chris Matthews. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. Hey. I was told that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. <laughs> in six years, I don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. Okay. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds. I like that Master Chief uh, 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 jacket. What made Halo successful at the beginning? What is the legacy of Halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? All right. How do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? We knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is going to be a really hard secret to keep. I think fans oh, snap. are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since it's crazy. Listen, I don't mean to pause it because, you know, usually I don't pause it, but it's crazy how, like, Unreal Engine 5 has, like, has really, like, created, like, a lot of opportunities for, like, new games to come through and look absolutely amazing. And to be honest with you, bro, like, Unreal Engine 5 definitely crept up on me because I was so used to Unreal Engine 4. And, um, like, I think, bro, for the first time I saw, like, Unreal Engine 5 on, like, on a trailer... I think it was last year, and I was like, bro, what the, bro, what the hell is Unreal Engine 5? Like, what's going on? Like, I didn't even know we had, like, a new updated version of Unreal Engine. So, uh, the fact that they actually brought Unreal Engine 5 to Halo, I'm going to be honest with you, that sounds very, very interesting. Since we've made the change to shift to UE, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. The Foundry Project was an effort show ourselves how far we can push things using unreal 5 new studio art director chris came to me and said hey i have this chris idea. chris he said hey there's this thing called project foundry that i want to do let's make it happen foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the foundry in halo lore is the place where halo rings are born oh. i mean it's not a game, it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. Okay. So this is all like Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine 5 like, like footage or like stock footage or like footage? The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. I agree. No, 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 I agree. I agree. I agree. Yo, look at Master Chief, bro. A new dawn, okay. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team, and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical we had Antarctica. showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable landscapes. Wow, that and does look good, though. I will admit that. Oh, okay, now that's, that's hard. In the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look. And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted that? to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal. That does look before. nice, though. That looks nice. We have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel. And, you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process. Everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. 
creating an asset, taking this design. Now we can really okay, get that into does, the material. I can't lie to you. I like this move a lot. I like this a lot. The reason I like this is because if we're being completely honest with you, right? And, and listen, I don't want to be that guy or whatever. Um, but when Halo first came out, I thought it was like pretty cool or whatever. Um, I specifically like the gameplay. I mean, well, if you really, if you were to really think about it, right? When, when Halo first came out like a while ago, and when I say a while ago, I mean years and years, years ago, they tried to, years ago, they tried to put me in a, like, bro, like years ago. So if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, it was mainly like, and this is just me. A lot of games that I played back then, they looked great or whatever. But again, I, I like them mostly for the gameplay. Now we're in a whole different era where graphics do matter. I mean, well, listen, for most games, graphics do matter. Um, graphics isn't everything, but uh, Halo with like upgraded Unreal Engine 5 graphics, duh, listen, that does hit a little different. I would like that. I mean, looking at the close up on the gun, gun looks pretty cool. Uh, like the environments with the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, then you have like the, like the Antarctica little area. And then you have like the, I don't know what that last area, that thing looked disgusting. That, that, bro, look, it, that, bro, that thing looked like something that's like, like on Mars or something like something that, that's on like Pluto or something. But if I'm being honest with you, bro, I, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. So presume foundations. What is it actually made of? No, did I say presume? Is I, is it? No, resume. I'm gonna edit that out one out. Okay. Don't, 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 don't laugh. Don't laugh. I used the wrong. I used the, <laughs> I used the, I used the, I used the wrong word. How is it physically <laughs> presume um, to the world? Now we have to take all the wonderful legacy assets that we have. Okay, that looks hard. That looks hard. I said presume. I thought I was, bro, I thought I was him for a sec. <laughs> oh, we yo, can I have a helmet? To be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding our studio. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only gonna get better when we get those new unique perspectives and people bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that, that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for... I like her hair. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways. And oh, I think snap! Kind of rare. And so I think we arrived now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process. Well, they're actually looking for There's people, so okay. There's so much momentum that we have right now and focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe. Okay. My bad. I had to look at some of my phone. My bad, y'all. All right. Okay. Now, if I'm be... Oh, what's this? Halo Studios. You know what, though? Listen. And I'm a I'm a priestess. I'm a, I'm a priestess like 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 it hasn't been preached before. Wait a minute, is there an Xbox outro? Because if it is, we got it. We got it. We got it. Is there an Xbox outro? There isn't. Okay, I I kind of wish there was. But listen, I kind of like this, and the reason I like this is because not even just because of like the like the graphical, uh, just like like I'm not even because of like the graphics or whatever. Not because of Unreal Engine coming through or whatever. Yes, that's the whole point of the video, but. I think I really like this is because it's given like a new opportunity for people who really want to, you know, work with uh, the video game, work in the in, uh, video game industry. Like uh, the lady said, um, oh, where, where is she at? She said that we're looking for creative artists. We're looking for engineers and stuff like that. So it sounds like uh, Halo Studios is looking for people to, you know, uh, join in on the team and stuff like that and help them out with this. Um, because if I'm being honest with you, that, I mean, that's that's more jobs. That's more uh, opportunity for people. Um, again, you know, who wants to work in the video game industry, who, you know, hey, bro, maybe their favorite game was Halo, and, like, maybe it's, like, a dream come true that, that they're actually working on it. Um, another thing is, like, 
if I'm being honest with you, though, I think this is a really good move as well because, I mean, if you really look about it, if you really think about it, right, I think if anybody's going to do this, like, if anybody's going to, like, you know, improve their game and everybody's going to, like, if anybody's going to, like, you know, make their studio bigger, you know, if they want to, you know, if they want to bring the game, if they want to put the game on, like, a bigger pedestal or, like, a taller uh, pedestal and stuff like that, I think Halo Studios, they can definitely do that. They have the money. I mean, obviously, like, you know, money is money. I'm not going to sit here and act like Halo Studios is broke. Like, no, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Like, are we, like, come on, let's not sit here and act like Halo Studios is robbing people for money because they're broke. No, they're not broke. Okay, they got a lot of money behind, you know, just stocked up or whatever. Like, bro, this is Halo. So, at the end of the day, bro, I'm listen, I might, I'm about to say something that's about to be crazy. I think that Halo, like, bro, Halo is like the, don't kill me when I say this, all right? You ready? You ready? Because I'm about to say it. Don't kill me. But bro, Halo's kind of like the Mario of, of the Xbox world, if you really think about it, all right? Don't kill me, but this is just my opinion. Whenever you think of Xbox, you automatically think Halo. Like, that's, that's, that's just it. Listen, don't kill me. Don't smack me around. Don't pick me up and drop me on my back. Bro, this ain't WWE. I promise you, bro. Whenever you think of Xbox, you the first game you think of is Halo. Bro, no, it's at, bro, bro, that's just what it is. I, I don't care what you say. Listen, don't slap me. Don't punch me. Don't pick me up. Drop me on my neck, bro. That is what it is. So... If I'm being completely honest with you, bro, uh, I think this is a really good move. Especially, bro, since, bro, I definitely like how Halo Studios, they're like, bro, we want to upgrade our game. We want to make something bigger. We want to make something better. That's good news. That's great news that we hear a studio themselves saying, bro, we want to be better. You know, we want to make something bigger. Bro, we want to we wanna come up with more Halo games. That's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for you. Like the Tyrese Gibson crime video. Bro, like that's, bro, it is. It's amazing, you know, because why would it? That's like, the, bro, that's like, especially if you're like a like a really big like Halo fan, bro. That's like a dream come true, bro, to have like your favorite games, franchise, whatever. To have like your favorite, I don't know if that's like your favorite studio, but like to have like your favorite like studio, whatever, say, hey, we got Unreal Engine 5, whatever. We're really ambitious. You know, we're adding more people to the crew. We're making more games, but we're about to be lit for the next 40 years. Like, bro, that sounds crazy. So, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Halo getting Unruins in 5 sounds pretty good to me if you really think about it. So, you guys are racing out.